Hey guys, it's me Eric here with another Anita's Liquor, and today we are turning this glass into this. Stay tuned, we're making the bluegrass. First step's a simple one. Get some ice, get a glass, put some water in that, and chill your glass down. I'm using a coupe because I like to say coupe, and I think it's a really cool looking glass. As part of the prep, you know, squeeze out some lime, or lime, squeeze out some lemon juice. Hopefully one ounce is going to come out of one lemon. Uh, typically that seems to be the ratio for me. When you're buying lemons, it's a good idea to try and feel for something that's a little bit heavy for its size. Um, even if you, sometimes I'll put them on a scale in the grocery store and uh, kind of judge that way uh, to find the li uh, lemons, to find the lemons that have the most juice. All right, we're gonna start off with a shaker tin and a nice jigger so we can get some good measurements. And the first thing is the bourbon. It's gonna be one and a half ounces of bourbon. If you're really a bourbon drinker and you love the stuff and you add two, well, that's your choice and I wouldn't blame you. So the maraschino is gonna go in next and that's just a quarter ounce. A little goes a long way with this stuff. It's a pretty sweet liqueur and it's a little bit thick too so it's gonna give it some texture. Next we're gonna add in the lemon juice, one ounce of that. Like I said, it's about one lemon if you're using the fresh. And most bar mixologists would be really upset with me for using canned, but so be it. I'm gonna put one ounce of pineapple juice in there. That's gonna give it a nice frothiness to the drink as well. So just gonna add some ice cubes to this, probably about four or five, should be plenty. So we're gonna put the shaker tin on, shake this for 10 to 15 seconds, and hope that it tastes as good as it smells. Get that nice frothiness going on on the outside. That frosty outside tells us that we are ready to strain this drink. All right, the moment of truth. This is the blue grass. So. Although it wasn't as easy as a snap of a finger, this is a bluegrass drink. Very citrusy smelling. I'm hoping that the juices don't cover up too much of that bourbon flavor, but we're gonna find out right now. It's not a bad drink. I think if I were making it again, I cut back a little bit on the juices, maybe down to three quarters of an ounce, or maybe even a half ounce of each. I do feel as if the lemon kind of overpowers the bourbon a little bit. I mean, there's still some characteristics of the bourbon in there. The maraschino is very much swallowed up by all of the juice, but it's not a bad drink. If I ordered this at a bar, I wouldn't be necessarily pissed you know, with the result. So if you like my way of making cocktails or you like the fact that I have camera tricks, give me a thumbs up to let me know you enjoy it. But if you want to see other kinds of cocktails, you're just not crazy about this type of a drink, give me a thumbs down. Your feedback helps me determine what kind of drinks I should be making. Well, that taps this one out. If you want to see some of my past videos, check out the link that comes up by my side. And if you want to see my future videos, click on the subscribe button. But until next time, I want to thank all of you drink idiots out there who are watching my journey as I discover liquor and make some cool cocktails in the process. So thanks for watching.
and happy drinking.